sound the alarm because it's overreaction time. The Chicago Bulls fell to the Heat 100 to 88 after the loss. Fred Hoiberg and his star player had a different perspective on what transpired. You know, we we obviously you know we had a, a very emotional day. Um, you know, it's not an excuse for how we played. You know, we, it's the worst game we played all year, in my opinion. Um, you know, it's uh, it's something where you know I hope what happened this morning has long term benefits for our team. You know, it's. Um, Something where you know we got to get back together. We got to work. Uh, we got to regroup. We got to find a way to come together. I don't think that was our worst game of the season either. I definitely don't think so. Uh, you know, it's an, another loss at home. Uh, correct it tomorrow, man, and, and get ready for somebody on Sunday. That will be Oklahoma City on Sunday. Fred Hoiberg says it was their worst game of the season. Butler said it's not. That was Butler's worst game of the season. Worst game of his career. Worst game of his career. One of 13. Worst field goal percentage he's ever had. Minimum 10 field goal attempts. What's going on here? It seems like it's so much friction. Yeah, I, I, I said this before, and it's just because I can't think of a, a – a, it's, it's a power struggle. Okay. In the schoolyard, you'd call it a pissing contest. Yeah. And, you know, I think Jimmy's flexing his muscles. I'm the best player. Fred's like, no, I'm the coach. Oh, by the way, you're benched. And Jimmy's like, oh, you're going to bench me? Then I'm going to come out here and I'm not going to perform. Because when Jimmy Butler doesn't perform, Fred Hoiberg could be Vince Lombardi. But that doesn't matter. If your players are not out there playing at their highest level, and this right here, just checking out of the game, do you know how he did this? I'll tell you why. Yeah, he's open in the paint, and he throws the ball out to who? Was it Zipson? Yeah, and I think it wide open, he misses, and he's like, I just threw the ball to Zipser. That should that sentence, <laughs> this act of me playing basketball in the NBA and me throwing the ball to Zipser, this shouldn't even be happening. I'm out of here. Zipser started tonight. Played pretty good. Yeah, he was all right. Yeah, he didn't guard anybody, but still he had a couple of buckets. That was my sense from his body language. And then post game, Jimmy Butler's whole tone, the communication's 90% nonverbal. And his yeah. tone that he was rubbing people, at least it was coming off the wrong way. His message was taken. If you read it, it would make sense. But watching him kind of speak it. The body language that went along with it. He was being sarcastic. He was being childish, immature. But who's going to win? The guy who's starting in the All-Star game? Or a coach that you know, is struggling to win ball games, especially at home? Come on, the, the star player is going to win. Not just a mess in Chicago. A hot mess. That's the only way to explain it.